You will not believe this fucking shit. This person was uh, watching the fucking debate, and their clock crapped out in the middle of the thing. Well, what do you know? Look at my fucking stove. I get up from the debate, come in here after the whole thing's over, and fuck, my clock isn't working. Two clocks breaking down at the same time? That's just nuts. I mean, I don't even know how long it took me to find the parts. I, I did find a replacement part from Arizona, but I don't know how long it took me because I don't have a clock to look at. What the hell are the Republicans up to? Making all our clocks break. This is some fucked up spooky shit. Howdy, everyone. Welcome to Data's Dispute. The clip you just saw was one of the first regarding the clock conspiracy, which showed up after the vice presidential debate on October 1st. Since that incident, there's been a lot more reports far and wide about people's clocks, the old trusty reliable clocks, breaking down one after the other. And it's not just a region, it's countrywide, and they are happening frequently. I'm going to show you another clip here. Hey bros, how's it going? I don't know how many of you have heard about this, but Apparently, in the middle of the debate the other night, a whole bunch of people's clocks started breaking down. And it was during something J.D. Vance was saying. Well, add one more to the list, and mine's not a stove, because my clock's not working anymore, is it? Look at that. That clock, I've had that clock for 35, 40 years, and it was working great. And then all of a sudden, kaput. So yeah, add one more to the list. Now, before I go into my thoughts on this, I want to show this next clip. This is somebody who's been thinking about why these clocks have been breaking down and what's the motivation behind doing this to all our clocks. Uh, yeah. Do we have the clip ready? Uh, okay, here we go. Hi, bicyclist friends. If you haven't heard, a lot of people's clocks are breaking down since the debates. Republicans represent the big oil states, right? That's one of their big uh, sources of money is pumping oil. They want us to continue to be dependent on oil. And so they want us to continue to be stuck in our cars. I don't want to be stuck in my car. I know how much time that used to take up. And it was miserable. They don't want us to know what time it is because they don't want more people to realize that cars suck, that they're wasting all their time driving around stuck in gridlock and to convert from bikes. And that's impacting the bottom line for these Republican states. They aren't making the, the money they want to be. And so if they're breaking the clocks, then we can't keep track of how much of our time is spent stuck in our friggin' cars. So yeah, that's why they're busting our clocks. They don't want you to realize that your car is making your life suck. Okay, I think this person is going down the right path with this big oil idea. Absolutely right about just how much of a hellhole it is driving in the city with its constant traffic, not being able to get anywhere. I'm sure it's fine when you're out in Iowa, you can drive for two hours on a highway and not see a single soul. But here, they have no idea. And frankly, I don't think they would care if they did. The Republicans are soulless, evil bastards who would crush their own children to extract a saleable mineral from their bones if it would give them some money. But what you got to remember is never underestimate their level of competence. They are evil and they are good at it. Clocks malfunctioning? Don't settle for cheap, untrustworthy crap from overseas. How about a 100% American-made mechanical grandfather clock, like Grandma's apple pie? Secure, reliable, and a little bit of a choking hazard. A classic look that will bring an air of distinction to your home. A piece of fine craftsmanship that will tell you the time for years to come, safe from hacking and scheming. We've even got a waterproof model and a wrist clock for those on the go. Find us online at HackingSafeClocks.com. Hacking Safe Clocks. Find timepieces starting at around $4,000. Hacking Safe Clocks is a division of Placebo Supplement Company Limited. So as much as I think big oil is a part of this, they aren't going to be satisfied getting one bird with one stone. Once all our clocks are gone, we're going to have to depend on their clocks. Now imagine you go into work about the time you think you're due, sun seems in the right position, but their clock says you're an hour late. How do you really know? You don't have a clock to verify it. Maybe they've hacked their clock to run fast so it looks like you're late. They screwed you out of a first hour's pay and they've contrived some evidence to make it look like you're a bad worker that doesn't show up on time. So if you ever wanna support that union, they're just gonna sack you. They got evidence to get rid of you. And now that you're there on shift, 
they can slow that clock down. You're there for nine or 10 hours, but the clock only says it's seven. How do you know? They're turning the freaking clock slow, people. Pay attention. Maybe it's been nine or 10 hours. You can't verify it. Your clock's gone. More for them, less for you. Working you to the bone while they get more rich. It's three birds with one stone. They're running the freaking clock slow, people. Now, maybe you've got your thoughts on the fourth, fifth, or sixth birds that these grease balls are out to get. If you do, give us a Skype. I see if with my producer, we've already got a caller on the line. Woke Patriot, 33 and a third, or 53.6 metric, you're on data dispute. Go ahead. You're aware that the Republican candidate for the presidency is selling wrist clocks, right? You're kidding me, right? No, seriously. It's pr absolute proof that the Republicans are behind <sighs> the whole clock scheme, right? Can, can we pull it up on... That... I can't imagine what other countries think when they see such symbolic candidates in the state of our democracy. My God. I... Sorry, I'm, I'm just speechless. I was not aware of this. The potential leader of the free world is hawking watches. I think you've identified our fourth bird. You got any thoughts on our fifth? I don't know any smoking guns, but I got this rumor. Oh? I first heard it on 2.48 metric, John, and everybody's talking about it now. Huh. And so I think it's gotten... What they're saying out there is...